Hey everybody, welcome to episode 4 of my Unity Android game tutorial. In this episode we're going to be doing some joystick stuff. So, first of all you're going to make sure you have the latest update of Unity because we're going to be using something today that requires it, but once you have that criteria, we're going to uh, just get into it. So first step, go to the hierarchy. We're going to right click and add a UI element and it's going to be called Canvas. This is um, this is going to behold all of our UI stuff. You can see it in the scene. Um, that's just the dimensions of it. Just an outline right now. Uh, and to set that up, we're going to go into the Canvas Scaler script. We're going to change where it says constant pixel size to scale with screen width so that it works on different resolutions. So the reference resolution is going to be uh, 1080 by 1920. This number is going to be a 0.5, and that's it for this uh, canvas. So the next step is going to be to go into the window, asset store, and this is basically where you download all of the um, the assets that you might want to add to your project. For this, we're going to be using one called Joystick. Just type in Joystick; it'll come up. It's called Joystick Pack. Just click on this. I already have um I already have it installed or not installed. I have it downloaded. So this button's gonna say download. Just click that. Just download it and then come back and it'll say import. So click that and just import the whole thing. And once that loads, um, Okay, so once that loads, you're going to go back into your assets folder, and there's going to be a new folder called Joystick Pack. So open that, go into Prefabs, and then drag uh, the file that says Fix Joystick onto your canvas. So once you've done that, we're going to get into some scripting. So if you want to test that out, go ahead and play the game, and I wish shit. So uh, it is here, it is working. The issue is it's the same color as the background. So we're going to change that by opening this guy up, selecting both the fixed joystick and the handle. We're going to go into the image script, click on the color, and change that to black. So now if we play, we should have a working joystick. Yeah, so this is how it's going to work. This ball in the middle, it's called the handle, and then um, the circle around it is this game object. So we are going to um, gonna make a script right click create C sharp script and we're going to call it joystick motion then open that up come on All right, so once you have that open we're going to delete the start function we don't need that but we do need a couple of variables so the first one is a public public rec transform it's going to be called um, handle First one is going to be called handle, copy, paste. Second one is going to be called background. And we're going to have a third one. It's not going to be a rack transform, it's going to be a public player movement. So we can interact with this class, and we're just going to call it player. And once we have that, we're going to go into update and we're going to do some stuff. So. First, we need to establish a vector 3. We're going to call it fixed handle pause. We're going to set that equal to handle dot position minus background dot position. So, this is going to give us the position of the handle relative to the background, which we're going to need. Um, and then the next one is or the next variable rather is going to be a vector 2 because uh, the player movements move function takes a vector 2 so it's going to be called the corrected pause and that's going to be set equal to um, an, or in parentheses new vector 2 that needs its own set of parentheses and for the x value we're going to do fixed handle pause that x and then also fixed handle pause dot y 
and then right outside of that we're gonna do multiplied it by or divided by handle dot rect dot width and then multiply that by five so we're gonna divide this because we want a number between one and zero or want a number between negative one and one rather uh, so that we get like a direction and a scale but not like a changing in speed and then multiply by the five um, honestly I don't know why that is I just played around with it it worked so we're rolling with it so uh, the next line is gonna be a player dot move and that is gonna take the vector two corrected pause and that should work so let's go back into our game um, drag this guy onto the handle Then we go to assign our variables handle, just handle. The background is a uh, fixed joystick, and then player is player. So if we play the game now, it should work. Yeah, we got our joystick, and it moves our player. And the cool thing about this is that it kind of um kind of makes it so we don't need to smooth out the player motion. Because if you look here, if I move the joystick a little bit, the player will move slowly and that scales from the distance of the center of the joystick background to wherever the handle is. So, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, next episode coming very soon. Uh, have a great day.